Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's a fascinating man. I've got to be quiet. Scott did a night shift, so he's still sleeping. It is only 7 a.m., but I woke up at 6.30, realized the date. So we have coffee, and I'm gonna go enjoy it. It's quite nice out today. Sit out here, enjoy coffee, wake up. It's so Let me bring you out here where I can talk. What the fuck do you call that? Seriously? What is that? Back in my day, you had a piece the size of your face every day. The size of the foil and the size of the windows, that's how big it's meant to be. Not a bloody chip in a chocolate. I was gonna wait and film both of us opening our advent calendars because I haven't had an advent calendar in years so I saw them I was like I'm gonna write a ton of my book today hopefully and go and get a Christmassy coffee later on and yeah so I thought I'd take you along show you the kind of Christmassy stuff in Auckland fan it'll be fun and it's the first it's the first I'm, I'm okay my bag is doing very weird noises all right so i finally left the house two and a half hours after i actually woke up because i had to charge things and get to this point where i've been to have breakfast and three coffees and we're gonna go into the city and maybe i'll give you like a bit of a behind the scenes maybe of writing my book it's coming along beautifully i made a drastic change as in major I'll show you some christmasy stuff today a christmas spirit hello mr car just seen something. Okay, Scott opened his. Look at the size of that! Bastard. Okay, so I'm home. Did some work in the library. Not very long. Normally I power through to like the night time in the library. I did it this time for a simple reason. And that reason is because I came up with a great idea. Now when I have problem like writing down things that maybe like I can't get my emotions across, I don't feel me coming through, I'm better at talking. So if I record myself on my little dictaphone on my Samsung, then I can say the words and type them up. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. Also, I have a massive video, which will already be out by the time you see this, of the perfect gifts for travelers. Seriously, the blog post alone is so long and I'm gonna to have to film it, edit it, get it up today. I'm very prepared for Vlogmas, very prepared. And when I got off the bus, I might have gone to the op shop. And maybe I, I, I saw it, it was $1 and I bought two of them. You wanna see what it is? Okay. Da, 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 da. It's nothing too exciting, so don't, you know. Don't watch yourself. <gasps> we got mugs. Two mugs. A dollar each. Because it's Christmas. 
I to God, I'll stop buying things from the dollar basket or the dollar. No, I will not. I have got like so many outfits in there that were a dollar. Ridiculous. That's like 40 pence in England. It's like beautiful things. I will not give it up. Okay, so we need to put the tree up. Soon. I just went and brought coffee. I went to vinyl. I wasn't too impressed with their coffee last time. However, I thought I'd give them another go and it was the closest one to me and I couldn't be bothered to walk it any further. Couldn't be bothered to walk any further and I said, do you have like Christmas and a cup? The answer was no, but it was a high request, like gingerbread lattes and things like that. They don't have any flavour. They don't even have caramel or vanilla, nothing. And I understand as a coffee lover, you gotta be sacred with your espresso and you know, it's beautiful coffee, but it's Christmas. And it's a time for overpriced tacky coffee and I will not go to Starbucks. I, I, ref I refuse. Shall we put the tree up? This will be the smallest and cheapest tree you will ever see and I love it. Okay, we're doing Christmas on a budget big star. So, we have the box and because I can't, buy things because this isn't a permanent residence we're just here for a few a couple of well a couple of more months max and that's it so there is a way to do christmas on a budget when you travel and warehouse in new zealand really helps a sister out so we have the bag of goods now i can't show you what i've already got sorry <laughs> Can't tell you what I've already got, Scott, so far. It's lots of little silly presents. We're just doing like stocking fillers this year. Um, it's just something fun, cheap, something we can play with. But I need to get the Christmas tree out. Da 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 da. Ta da! Ooh. Okay, this Christmas tree cost me $2. $2. Oh no, we need. And I thought, should I get decorations? I was looking at like little battery powered lights and they were like five bucks for like a little strand. And baubles were like five dollars a pack and there's a man outside my door watching me. It's a great neighborhood. Okay, so instead I got that for two dollars and went to the op shop and got some tinsel for 50 cents. And that will do. Hey, all right, let's do this. Sorry that the lighting is awful. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring you down here. La, 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 la. Okay, so two dollar Christmas tree, two fifty cent tinsels, but she gave me them both for fifty cents. I was like, ah, thank you, Merry Christmas. Okay, so okay, let's put these on first. Get in. Why do these never just slot in really nicely? Come on. Oh. Damn you, I paid so much money for you. I need a hammer. I need something. It's not working. Cause that won't annoy me whatsoever. And then we place. Oh, good. Oh. And then we pull. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Get in there. Well, ain't that the saddest looking Christmas tree you've ever seen in your life? And it's leaning. Shock horror. I never had real trees as a kid. I always had the synthetic ones. So I know what I'm doing. Oh, it's so... I mean, it, it looks drunk. Your drunk Christmas tree, go home. All right, let me just fluff this out a little. Uh-huh, oh, a little off the shoulder action there. 
Does it look good from any angle? Nope. All right. Looking good. It took every bean in my bean in my body, every bean in my body, not to go OTT on decoration. I could have spent a fortune and my card would have been rejected. But we got $2 stockings, very nice. And um, an intoxicated thing. I can't even call it a Christmas tree. What are you? You're a disgrace to the Christmas tree community. Lay off the gin. Where do we hang the stockings now? We don't have bedposts or a fireplace. Um, nope. We could make a little Christmas wall. But I'd like the Christmas wall to be here, you know, behind the videos. I could use a hockey stick. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. Okay, so I have these nails and I have a hockey stick. And I want to make a Christmas background right now. It needs work, it needs work. I wanted to like have one stuck in here and then one stuck, it just didn't look right. But I'm very impressed with my hockey stick skills. Yes. Okay, so it needs more and it needs work. We'll work on it, we'll work on it. Oh wait, I'm filming my first Christmas video today. We'll work on it right now then. Okay, there is a woman who lives near here. Do you hear that? Okay, it's basically a woman who lives around here and I saw her the other day and she stands there for hours calling her cat. She came up to our driveway and I'd seen her cat, the one with the red collar, the grey one, yeah. Seen it and she's like, have you seen it? I was like, yeah, yeah, about 20 minutes ago, he ran up into the garden. She was like, okay, well, it's almost time for his nap. Every day, she searches for the cat to bring it in to have an afternoon nap. <sighs> I have no words. It's a fucking cat. And on to lunch. Today's a very simple lunch because we have very little noodles. Oh, we do have eggs though. Yeah. A backpack is best friend. All right, nobody does just one. Look at the timestamp. She is still calling the cat. <laughs> okay, so it's much later on in the day now. Woo! Teleportation through space and time. Basically, I was going to film my video today on the perfect gift for travellers. However, I've been having, if there's any physios, chiropractors, medical personnel in this place, then, then listen, hear me out. I have this pain in my shoulder and I know it's from hunching. It's from bad posture, from sitting on my laptop. And no matter how many times I pull myself back up, I, or slowly, you know, start reaching back down. And because I do loads of micro movements <clears throat> with my hands, like editing and typing and stuff, and I know I should stand up more, and I'm starting to do those things, but holy crap, my shoulder, my arm, not good. It's like, how can I describe it? It's like in there, you see? And then it like causes a dull pain down my arm, and then it gives me a massive headache. Long story short, that all happened again it's happening daily now um and when i get a headache and my shoulders are killing i'm just like okay so i'll put this vlog up today and then i'll do my 25 gifts for travels or whatever it's gonna however many items i've already done the blog post i think it's about 20 to 25 um i'll film that in the morning put that one up and then my day two can come out the day after and then we'll be back on track okay scott just went out to work because he's doing stupid shifts Basically, he's doing night shifts and then he's doing day shifts on top of them. Poor bastard, he's working so hard. Um, I've had a very productive day. 
very productive. I'm very happy. Um, yes, my little area over there is looking good. And with my drunk Christmas tree. So I think I'm going to do some more book. Finish off the blog post for the perfect gifts post thing. Yes. And then have a shower. Maybe I'll do my face mask. And then edit this vlog, put it up and go to bed. The excitement. I'm really sorry that today wasn't as exciting. I planned to do different things today, but it didn't work out like that. Hopefully there'll be more Christmassy stuff and the daily vlogs from now on. I'm very sorry. You know when you feel instantly rejuvenated after a really hot shower? Oh, yeah. All right, food. 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 Let's get some food. Oh, good. No one's here. Fantastical. Oh yeah, you were, I bet you were all really excited when I said I was doing Vlogmas. You thought I had lots planned, lots of exciting stuff, good content. <laughs> no. We're gonna find food. It's the amount of excitement you're getting today. I do apologize. What have we got? <sighs> Cereal, banana, papa thumbs, eggs, ooh, wine. Uh, I don't want noodles again, no. I'm going to the fridge. No fridge in the world without a light. We've got chicken, which I'm pretty sure is off. Oh, we have that chicken as well. That's a cooked chicken. Struggle Town, population one. Shutbound. Water. Fire. It's a bit stupid earlier when I um, was putting the Christmas decorations up. I may have left the box open in the walk in wardrobe. Like, fully open, everything exposed. I don't think Scott noticed. If he did, he'd have probably looked at the things and be like, the hell have you been buying me? Ah, ah. Mm, they're silly. I like it. Okay, so if I plan on getting this vlog edited and up tonight, I've got to end the vlog right now. Um, ow. If you enjoyed the first day of Vlogmas, I don't know why you would. All right, so I hope you're all getting into the festive spirit. If not, then get into the Christmas spirit. I will make you. And I love you. And yeah, all the good stuff. Bye.